Welcome back to another episode of Dicking Around in the Garage. Um, yeah, it's it's Mixed-Ash Saturday, but um, we're we're still dicking around in the garage. Um, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to attack a project I've been wanting to do for a while, and we finally got them in. We're going to change the handlebars, but before I do, because I have the Harley heat grips in the way they've wired them, I have to pull um, the tank off. Not because of the way they wired, be they didn't wire them right and I wired them down through the wiring trough. So I got to pull the gas tank and all that stuff off, and... You know, you pull your instrumentation off, which I've done that. So, let me get all this stuff apart. And I gotta get some stuff cleaned up so we have some working space. And we'll we'll shoot this video somehow or another. Right? We got the tank off. And now... I've got accessories and stuff, so we gotta take all that stuff off. I gotta get my cup holder off, my phone mount, my heat gear, um, all that fun stuff. All right? And you'll take screws out here. I can't misplace these. Because I have to reuse them. They've got spacers for the perch mounts. Same thing over there. I'm going to take my mirrors off. You don't have to necessarily take your mirrors off. If you're doing this yourself. I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. But that's because of the setup that I currently have. But we're going to end up taking our mirrors off. Setting them off to the side. Because we've got the hand guards and all that fun stuff. And we've got the perch mounts. And we've got the Willie G heated grips. What we're going to do is you got a screw here on your instrument cluster, and you got one over here. You're going to take that off. You're going to take a pick up in here, pop that little tab, pull that out. You don't have to pull your ignition. I've got some zip ties here to cut for my cyber charger power. And then, uh, what else? We'll get that off of there and get the brake and clutch master cylinders off. Unplug some wires in here and we should be off. I believe what we're going to do is we're just going to try to mount you guys up above us and speed it up. And you'll see. Pay attention. Watch really fast. Yeah. 
collision We can't pack emotion Dynamite, we just might So blow us a kiss, blow us a kiss Blow us a kiss, we'll blow you to pieces There you go. Bars are off. That didn't take long. Um, what? 30 minutes? I mean, people say these projects are weekend projects. They're not weekend projects, okay? They're do it in the morning before you go riding. Do it the night before, before you go riding. It, it's it's not hard. It's not rocket science. Um, it, it It's not. I say that now watch something's gonna happen. Uh, something's gonna go way bad. I, I just I feel it. Okay. I had to speak up to say something. But yeah, they're not uh not hard to get the bars off. Just take your time with it. Um the hardest part of the whole deal is gonna be running the wire through the bars. So, um, let me move you guys over to the bench. I still have to pull this trough off and do away with the wiring for the old heated grips. I cut them because they don't work and I got new ones. Um, I got the Kahuna heated grips.
last dime on the next drink I'm flying off the cocaine And I ain't got a rubber so I probably shouldn't fuck her But I do it anyway I'm off the deep end I ain't no sin sleeping with these girls Yeah, I've been keeping Up with the demons of this world Yeah, I'm off the deep end Woke up on a ragged out couch God knows what's her name Took the last $20 out of pocketbook With a drug addiction to blame I ain't caught mama in six damn months I've been on the road I ain't seen a Sunday service since I've been gone Jesus save my soul Oh Jesus save my soul I'm off the deep end I ain't no sin sleeping with these girls Yeah, I've been keeping Up with the demons of this world Yeah, I'm off the deep end Shotgun. I'm sorry, Mama. Please don't look at me. Yeah, when I got to Oklahoma, I was 17. My papa taught me how to work, and Lord, he was mean. Working all day in that August heat, and he taught me how to fish. My uncle taught me how to drink. Well, I went to California and I had me a band And we played in all the bars and all the southern lands We played all night and we drank for free All of my boys and me Now I'm 23 and there ain't nobody who can drink it like me Soon I'll be 24 and the Lord knows that I can't drink no more I know I should have taken it slow the way that my life goes Now I know When you're passed out on the floor You're sober by 24 Well, I had a girl who loved me the whole damn time And I drank my whiskey and she drank wine Soon my bottle was too much to company Yeah, we'd sit on the river and we'd fish all day And we'd drive across the country and let the radio play Seven damn years I never thought she'd leave And there ain't nobody who can drink like me Soon I'll be 24 And the Lord knows that I can't drink no more I know I should have taken it slow It's not the way that my life goes Lord, I know When you're passed out on the floor You're sober by 
shown y'all what bars we're doing yet have we nope sure haven't let's uh get that situated around so what bars are we doing well right here kst customs all right and we went with the vanguard collection because Look what they give you. Chinese finger torture for your wiring here. It goes on the right side. They go on like this. They're a three piece bar. Use top clamp for install. And they give you a sticker. Let's set the sticker up there. There's your right bar. There's your left bar. And your top clamp. Right. Stainless steel bars. We did do the meat hook style. But, uh, yeah, they're polished stainless. Adjust the pullback, rolling them in, rolling them out, however far I want them. Because that was my big problem with bars was, you know, you check out some bars that look nice and stuff like that, and I ain't weighing them super super high because I'm not super super tall. I just wanted something to level me out a little more, and I sat on a bike that had some. 12 inch factory 47s on it but my arms were a little too far in so a buddy of mine has KST customs on his bike and he loves them I know a lot of people run them and like them so I'm going to get some of this stuff off just enough to where we can get the wires through. But all you got to worry about is getting through this bend here. And it ought to be fat enough. Get through there. And then it just the wiring actually goes down through that hole there. And then you tidy everything up. So, I guess, uh, Let's start with the left hand side first and see how 
easy or difficult it's going to be. I do know if you look, you have the KST logo right there. Well, that will go on the right hand side of the bike. There's no logo on this side. That's how you know you're putting one right. And they don't have the hole for the dial pin. Of course, you got to drive that in. But they have an anti slip stuff coating or something. Um, from what I'm told, you you got to beat on them a little bit. So let's. Let's see if we can't get the finger thing through there. Get our heated grips. Yeah, we got new heated grips too. Not the Harley Kahuna heated grips. Just because, well, one, I like them, and two, um, the Harley branded stuff when it comes to electronic stuff like this. The Willie G's don't last long. But I have heard that these are actually really good. And they last. So we'll see what happens. I know a buddy of mine had them on a bike of his. And they were hot. Harder than the Willie G's. So we'll see what happens. Right. I do know we're going to need this one. And that's the other thing. I do believe I can internal. Yeah, these are internal wire. Unlike the Willie G's. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. These are all internal wires. Whereas. The Willie G's, you had a wire here and then you had a wire going through there. So. This was your power wire. This was your wire that connects two together. So that'll be nice. But we'll see what we can't mess up, shall we? This is the right side. That's got the throttle on it. That's the left oh. side. We got a message. Who that? Who that? Who that? <laughs> Yep. Dinner for tomorrow. Alright. So, yeah. We're going to see what we can't mess up. Thirty miles on the Gulf Stream. I hear the south wind moan The bridge is getting lower The shrimp boat's coming home The old man down in the corner Slowly turns his head Takes a sip from his whiskey bottle And this is what he said I was born in the rain on the bunch of train Underneath the Louisiana moon I don't mind the strain of a hurricane They come around every June The high black water A devil's daughter She's hard, she's cold, and she's mean But nobody taught her It takes a lot of water To wash away New Orleans From Chicago, he gonna set that levy right. He says it needs to be at least three feet higher, it won't make it through the night. But the old man down in the corner, he said, Don't you listen to that boy? The water be down by the morning, and he'll be back. She 
30 miles on the Gulf Stream I hear the south wind moan Bridges getting lower The shrimp boat's coming home The old man down in the corner Slowly turns his head Takes a drink from his whiskey bottle And this is what he says I was born in the rain on the Ponza train Underneath the Louisiana moon Don't mind the strain of a hurricane They come around every June High black water, the devil's daughter She's hot, she's cold, and she's mean But nobody taught her It takes a lot of water to wash away a new Wanting to be like the cool kids is not working. I gotta go grab a flashlight so I look up in that tube and see what happened when the Chinese finger torture thing came off. Might have to put some tape around it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll get it. It's there. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll try. But it's in there. It's right about here. Uh, here. There. Yeah. Can you guys see in there? I don't know. We'll see what we can do in editing. But, uh, yeah. That one's there. Not that bad. Um, that was a, a whole, whole lot easier than the factory 47s we did on my buddy's bike Woo! a whole lot easier so all right now i'm gonna have to turn the camera off i i hate to turn the camera off but uh i'm gonna have to turn the camera off because of battery life and save battery life and show you guys once we get the heated grip pulled through. And you know what? We'll just, I got another battery. We'll just let it roll. How's that sound? But, uh, yeah. Listen to some music. <laughs> Don't 
Don't get angry, don't discourage Take a shot of liquid courage Cause my monsters are real same time so I had to go pull footage off the camera and I didn't notice it we got the one side done it's our left side we got it started on there I'll probably loosen this up and see if we can't get that down in there a little more but that's where you might have to Tap it, but yeah, I think they're gonna look pretty decent. Those are some straight bars, they're wide, I can tell you that right now. But, uh, yeah, let me get the right one up here and we'll run the switch path through it and then we'll try to run the throttle through it, I guess. Trash beautiful Trailer park queen She slings hash at the diner from 11 to 5 She married a boy from school Thought he was old 
painted red My name tag's crooked My heart's been gone a while With the truck driving man that took it he Keeps her photograph On his rear view mirror She prays for him every night She hopes that he can hear her side went much easier than the uh, heated grip control side. That went pretty smooth once I figured most people I've watched videos on this stuff most people put the uh, control wire through first and then do the uh, uh, what you call it, the 
the uh, throttle, but I couldn't get the throttle through with that in there. I wasn't fighting with it, so there we go. Uh, probably going to grab the wife, have her give me a hand setting them up on there, and getting them clamped down, and just set them on there, and clamp them down with your, use their clamp, I guess. Yeah. Use their fancy clamp. KST Customs. It's there. They say to use it. So, might as well. I already knocked the pin out. So, we'll see you in a minute. They're on somewhat. Um, everything's tightened down. Just working on getting the hand controls. The switch housings. But on your switch housings, when you do these, this little little nipple right here you don't have to grind that off so if you don't want to grind it off you might want to look into a different bar but I gotta go see my neighbor about grinding them off uh, that's what's great about living in the country if you ain't got it at your house somebody else does all right guys um I got the bars on I didn't record the switch housing. It's just reverse of what you did. You know, they hold your grips on. Throttle works. Kicks back. Everything moves freely. So that's plus. That side's tight. We're all plugged in in here. Hopefully we got them right. I think we do. Left switch pack. Right switch pack. And your throttle. There. And then this one here splits off of your throttle for your heated grip. And this is the heated grip coming out. I'm not sure if there's one in there or if I have to use their wiring. I don't have the clutch and um, brake master cylinders on yet because, well, you have to grind that little tit off right there on both of them and I don't have anything to grind them off here at the house so I'm not going nowhere to do it and bike can sit here for a while I'm going to be down for a while anyway so bike ain't going to get ridden it'll be alright um, we'll continue the video at a later date and uh, yeah you, you'll see but it's not hard. You can put your own bars on. And the KST Customs are easy. Um, I will say the only thing that I do not like. Okay. Let me turn you guys around here. Alright. I like the fact that they're a three-piece bar. And when you run your wiring through. It's way easier if you do the meat hook deal here. It's easier to get the wiring through. And then it just comes out the bottom here. It doesn't run through your mount here and come out in the center. It runs through here and then your wiring comes in here. Which isn't a bad thing. I looked at it because all that moves anyway, right? Yeah. See, your wiring comes out here. So, all that moves anyway. I, don't know. I might see if I can do something about that. Uh, probably not because it'll be shorter. Uh, we might try later. Either way, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, we might try to run that under. Yeah, I don't think we can. It's too tight back here. Yeah, so that's how it's got to run. So you got a little bit of wire and churn there. But that's not a big deal. But when you go to put these in, you can slide them in so far by hand. But they need to be flush down here on the bottom. And you have to take a mallet and just beat the ever-living shit out of them. Now, that's so, you know, they won't slide is the way they fed them and machined them and the stuff that they put on them, the coating. I get that, I understand that, but that's, that's the only thing I don't like. And I didn't record that because the wife was out here with me. No, I didn't want to hear anybody say anything about me beating on a brand new set of handlebars. So... Um, 
don't know. You might be able to take. I loosened these up real loose. But I still had to beat it. You might be able to take something. Plastic wedge or something. Stick in there and spread that open some. Or I don't know if they're just designed to where you got to beat them down on there or not. I don't know. I didn't read the instructions. I just put some bitches together. So there you go. I'm not a direction reader. But I just figure shit out. So. But. We'll be back. It'll be a later date. And we'll continue this video on. Alright guys. Hey. We had to take a break. Because we had to go have back surgery. So. We're back. It's. It, it's the Blue Bike and Dole Thursday. And we're back. So. We had surgery Monday. Everything went good. Now we're back. And. Um. We shouldn't be. But. We're dicking around in the garage. Okay. We're just... The wife gave me permission to do wiring. Not lift anything. But inside here... Let me grab a flashlight. Pop your cap off your heated grip. And then there's a plug there. Two pins. Um, if you don't have heated grips, there'll be just a dummy cap in there. Pop that out before you put your grip on. But then you'll pop that in with the two pins and you'll be good to go. Now, the other thing is there's a lot of controversy on the old interwebs about uh, where to get your accessory power from. Okay, now... They say there's supposed to be another plug that looks like this in here that you plug your grips into. Well, there is not. So, being as there is not, I know there's one in the fairing. But let me get the camera situated around here and we'll explain why we're not going to use that one. Alright. I still have the old harness on from the Willie G heated grips. Now, what you have is when you get the kit, it'll come with an accessory splitter, something like this, which I'll show you guys the new one. Now, you have three wires. You have constant power. You have... Um, ignition and ground you will have to remove there'll be a dummy pin down here mine's already been done because the willy G's were put on but you'll have to remove the dummy pin and put your power in there so you have power but then you can also have other accessories It'll be a pin that looks something like this right here, which you'll end up having to pop uh, Well, that one's a Deutsch, so that'll be different, but there'll be a white cap you end up having to pop off and then pop that plug out. Now, why are we going here? And not using the one that's in the fairing. Well the one that's in the fairing. Will actually send a signal to the body control module. Saying that it's drawing too much amperage. Which will cause the bike to shut off. Um, I have done a lot of research on this. And put a lot of time in. And I want to give a shout out to Sick Baggers YouTube channel. And Steve over there. Because he was actually kind enough to share the PDF manual with me. So I have it. I didn't have one. I will say that Harley's manuals and their schematics are a nightmare. But we were able to figure it out. And what we're going to do is use the new kit. Right? If I can get this one unplugged. My hands aren't working. This is the old one that came with the Willy G, and they give you a fusible link in there 
which that fuse I popped it and only had a 15 amp and just for power testing purposes I had used it but it only comes with a 4 amp or a 5 amp fuse I'm sorry 5 amp fuse because these are not supposed to draw more than 5 amps and that's where by going in under the fairing now mind you mine's a 2019 Rig Glide Ultra the specials the limiteds and some of the older bikes are different that's why you need to look in the catalog and they'll tell you what you need a lot of people sit there and say Harley's just trying to upsell you something no in this case they're really not they're they're honestly trying to protect you in your bike's wiring right so we have constant power coming off of here and we have ignition coming off and we also have ground right the harness is 30 bucks for my bike and the kahuna heated grips it calls for part number 69201599a which looks similar to this but it's not it's a different part number altogether so spend the money there's thirty dollars i mean do it right thirty dollars versus a real expensive bill but if you don't have this wire already hooked up which i do that goes into there that pin you have to pin it that's all but I already have that on there now you have to where you can plug in two more accessories a lot of people will probably get all crazy and think oh well I can just keep putting those on there no I wouldn't recommend that but essentially black is your ground the purple is going to be our ignition accessory and the red is the constant power we're actually hooking into these right here which we'll have to cut those off so how do we do that we plug in here like so we'll probably end up zip tying this out of the way something like that then we're going to get our two wires which will be black and violet and then in the kahuna heated grips that's why they give you these extensions we'll put black to ground and we'll put the red to the violet and we'll ride up and plug it in and hopefully with a little bit of luck everything will work so look before you put accessories and stuff on especially electrical it's not that harley's trying to charge you more it's that there are things built into the bike for protection and you want to maintain that protection because bcm that could be expensive having it programmed and everything could be expensive so avoid that stuff now if you have the plug up there already you may be able to do that check your manual and all that stuff and make sure you're doing it right on my bike this is the correct way to do it we're not going to wire into the constant power because constant power will end up leaving constant flow to the grips and I think that may be what screwed up the other grips I could be wrong they could be totally different because of the wiring harness but this is just a two wire system going up to the grips so we're going to get that hooked up and get that ran and get all the wiring tidied up and uh see how well they work
All right, guys. We have the wiring just kind of mocked up. We don't have it uh, exactly secured yet. It's just laying in the wire trough. Went ahead. I like to put the tank and everything back on, plug everything that I had unplugged back in before I turn the ignition on. But they are working. We're on about three right now. They work on accessory and ignition. So that's what you want. Just make sure instead of let me move over here. There are a ton of videos. Well, there are a ton of misinforming videos online. So before you watch YouTube videos and stuff like that, trust in your dealership. And when they tell you you need a harness, there's a reason why. Um, like I said, now we can go, if we want to put a heated seat on or something like that, we can bring a plug up through there, put a heated seat on with no problem. But the heated grips are finally working. I am happy. The bars are on. Another tip, make sure before you turn your ignition off, you power your heated grips off. Let it drain that amperage off of them. So then when you need the cold cranking amps to start your bike, you don't have an amperage draw coming off of your grips already. So we are good to go. Now we have to, <laughs> I'm not allowed to lift anything. I'm not even allowed to lift a gallon of milk. So I shouldn't even be doing this right now. But this is how I rehab myself. I get the wipe back down here. Unplug the tank. Pull the tank back off. Got my wiring sorted around and routed nice and pretty. Um, get it jacked back up in the air. Make sure, you know, nothing's going to twist and pull. We rerouted the uh, Cybertrader wiring harness. If you follow your trough here, your wire trough alongside it, you have your clutch and brake cables. Now, being my cyber charger wiring comes right up there, it goes to this side. I just ran it right alongside that clutch cable. So, that's good. I'll just zip tie it to that clutch cable, and then it should move with that clutch cable. Whatever the length of that clutch cable is, wherever I zip tie it, it should be fine. And then, the adapter, this is the adapter for the heated grip. That little jumper harness they give you work great. So do it right. Don't don't cause yourself problems in the future. Do it right the first time. Be done with it. But let's just make sure these things cool down. We'll get the tank and everything off. And hopefully everything will be good. Feels like they're cooling down. They should be. But, yep. All right, uh, guys, gals, there's the uh, handlebars are all done. Handlebars and heated grips. Heated grips work. We pop the end cap back on the right grip. <clears throat> we got our instrument cluster back up on. We just got to put our chrome piece back in there, which is no big deal. But I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. 
There is a... Let me get a pointer. Find a pointer! Okay. Yep. <clears throat> if you look down in here, when you have your instrument cluster off and all that stuff, if you run your wiring, you follow it up there. It runs with your brake line and your clutch line. So we just ran the wiring for the cyber charger right up underneath. Zip tied everything real nice. Made sure nothing's going to pinch. Everything moves. Here's a better shot of it. Uh, what I believe this one's the heat grips. This one's the cyber charger. So it's just nice and zip tied there. Nice little loop. So it all moves. Don't catch on anything. Nothing pulls tight. I didn't have to. I only went with 12s. So I didn't have to cut any zip ties. I didn't have to extend anything. And on the road glides. As far as extending things. The only thing you. Sh um, if you go 14s. The only thing that you really should have to extend. Is your brake and clutch. You shouldn't have to extend your wiring they give you a plenty for the throttle and once your wires are in there your bars are fixed everything inside there turns so it's not going to go nowhere you know what i mean it all pivots right there on that point so it's not like it's attached to the frame and turning it's all attached right there everything's moving together so if they'll reach you shouldn't have to cut anything the only thing you might have to do is extend your um throttle or or not your throttle but your clutch and your brake cables but that's all on there um we're not putting tank back on yet because we're going to change spark plugs and uh clean some stuff up while we got the tank and everything off but i hope you guys enjoyed this video sorry it took so long um thanks for being patient and uh, sitting through it, but that's, I think they look good. Not a hard install, not difficult at all. So we just got some stuff to clean up and we'll be all set whenever uh, the doctor gives us the okay. Heat grips work, like I said, remember, don't just go plugging stuff in because it'll fit. Make sure that circuit can handle that and it's not going to throw an overload on your BCM. Um, be cautious. That's all. End up with more problems down the road if you're not careful. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And, uh, hey, go dick around your garage.